All right, another day of new COVID records in our state. This comes as the Department of Public Health has announced its first case of the UK coronavirus variant this afternoon. The state hit new highs for its total number of hospitalized COVID patients yesterday, and that number climbed again today. New coronavirus data now showing that there are more than 5,200 Georgians currently needing medical care. We also have more than 6,000 new cases today, and that makes this the sixth highest day on record. A supremely contagious strain of COVID-19 has been discovered in Georgia, and today state health officials said an 18-year-old was in isolation after testing positive for it. 11 Alive's Brittany Klein-Peter shares what you need to know about this frightening strain. Last month, the CDC said a variant of the coronavirus was spreading through the United Kingdom. The strain known as B117 has now been found in at least five U.S. states, with the latest being Georgia. On Tuesday, state officials reported that an 18-year-old male had tested positive for it, but the man hadn't traveled anywhere. And so what that means is that the variant has probably been here for some time, and we're just thinking to look for it. So what do we know about this new strain? The CDC reports that it is more contagious, but it doesn't appear to be causing more severe symptoms. They also add that it isn't related to more deaths. According to Dr. Schmidt, all viruses mutate, but most COVID-19 mutations don't change how the virus behaves. Coronaviruses are a family of viruses, and they have a tendency to mutate over time, and most of those mutations are not going to really change anything. But on occasion, you will have a mutation of some sort that confers a benefit like this one, which makes it a little bit more transmissible. While there are still more questions than answers, experts say the public shouldn't panic. You know, this is an important change um, and it's something we certainly want to keep an eye on, but we don't need to panic. Um, we have the same tools that we've been using to control the spread of COVID-19. We'll also control the spread of this new variant. Dr. Schmidt also said that there's no data to prove that the COVID-19 vaccine wouldn't be effective against this new strain. She also added that the best way to prevent mutation is to prevent transmission.